Hello all, in this video we will see how to program ESP32 using MicroPython. ESP32 is most advanced version of Node MCU with uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It has got USB capability which is uh, provided by CP2102IC and it has got an enable button which acts as reset and uh, boot button which puts ESP32 on flash mode. Connect uh, ESP32 to PC using USB cable and then open the device manager you should have installed cp2102 driver initially to get com port allotment your com port is allotted to esp32 note on the com port uh, number to start with you have to install uh, python on your pc mine is windows machine i am uh, downloading 64 bit version of python and and then installing it Next we have to download the bin file which is the firmware for ESP32. Visit the uh, micropython.org website and then scroll down to locate the ESP32 firmware. ESP32 firmware uh, use the generic firmware which is the latest firmware for ESP32. Micropython is supported on wide variety of devices. Uh, we are using ESP32 here. Uh, ESP tool is required to program uh, MicroPython onto ESP32. We will be using Tony Python for this. First download the uh, firmware, latest firmware, ESP32 firmware and then visit the Tony Python website. Tony Python is a, a very reliable and uh, simple IDE to program uh, ESP32 using MicroPython. Download the Windows version and then uh, double click the downloaded file to install Tony Python. Once uh, Tony Python is installed, uh, open the IDE The Tony Python uh, comes pre-installed with the Py Python latest version, so it is not uh, uh, necessary to install a separate Python on your uh, machine. The three greater than symbol is called Chevrons. Yes, we are noted uh, installed MicroPython uh, firmware. It is showing the firm, uh, Chevrons of uh, Python. To install uh, MicroPython firmware, go to Tools, Options and then click on interpreter uh, select the uh, micro python for esp32 and then select the com port that is a com port allotted to esp32 now click on uh, firmware uh, enabling button but we are getting an error uh, informing that ESP tool is uh, not yet installed. We need not install ESP th uh, tool separately. It can be installed from within the Tony Python itself. Close this window and then go to uh, tools, manage plugins and then search for ESP tool. Now install the ESP tool plugin by clicking on the install button. So my uh, Tony Python will use ESP tool in the background to install firmware. Now ESP tool is installed. Close this window and then again uh, open tools and then options and select the interpreter select MicroPython ESP32 and then select the COM port. Uh, click on the firmware uh, upload. Again you have to select the COM port and browse to the location where we have downloaded the bin file. That is the ESP32 MicroPython firmware. Uh, you have to uh, put a tick mark against erase, erase flash and then click OK. Now you have to press and hold the boot button on ESP32 
to enable uh, erasing of flash and then uploading the uh, micro python firmware once the firmware uh, uploading starts you can release the boot button the firmware uploads on to location uh, 0x100 there is a default lo uh, firmware location for esp32 once the MicroPython firmware is installed, you get the three chevrons of uh, MicroPython. It is also called REPL, Read, Evaluate, Print and Loop, uh, which is the interpreter of MicroPython. You can try commands of uh, Python like uh, print hello world and then help command will list uh, some sample codes uh, for MicroPython. In Python, uh, functions are called modules. To see the, all the modules, you can uh, type help uh, and modules under double quote. It will list all the modules available in MicroPython. Uh, the important modules are uh, machine, UOS, ESP. And then you can get uh, help for the module also. Uh, you can import any module using import command. For example, you can import uh, UOS, which is a uh, uh, which helps on file system of on operating system of uh, MicroPython, and then use the UOS dot list directory list dir command to list the files on uh, device. By default, boot dot pi is the only file available on the device. You can import the machine module to control uh, the GPO pins. Instead of importing the complete machine module, you can also import only the pin class of the uh, machine module using from machine import pin. And then we assign it to uh, a LED variable. The pin class takes two arguments. First is the pin number, which is two. Uh, the inbuilt LED on ESP32 is on pin two. And the second argument is a constant where we declare uh, the pin as output pin dot out now using led dot value uh, one will make the onboard led on and led dot value zero will make the onboard led off so by uh, using the interpreter we can control uh, we can uh, test the individual commands now let us uh, write the python code on the editor go to the editor section of uh, Tony python <coughs> And then type in this code first is uh, we import the pin class from machine uh, module and then we import the time uh, uh, time module and uh, use the sleep class of uh, time module and we declare the variable led with the uh, pin class uh, with two arguments uh, pin 2 as uh, uh, out, output and then we use the while true uh, never ending loop in python uh, braces are not used instead it uses indentation this indentation is very uh, important in python code under the while loop uh, we just change the state of the led if it is on we'll make it off and then uh, if it is off we'll make it on using the not function and then we provide a delay of uh, 0.5 seconds now under from under file you can save the file under uh, your computer by providing a different name other than main.py but this is only for editing purpose for uh, saving it is on uh, esp32 uh, you must provide the name main.py this is a must in uh, MicroPython. You can save the file only using the name main.py. Once the file is saved onto ESP32, you can click on the uh, the green uh, forward symbol that is a F5 to run the current script. Now the Python code is uploaded and you can see the LED blinking according to the code. Now if you remove the USB cable and then provide it again, 
you can see the co- code uploaded functioning automatically the led blinks automatically to read the files on board on the device you can just uh, press the stop button to uh, stop the script functioning and you get the three chevrons at the bottom now you can use the import uos and then uh, uh, us dot uh, list directory to read the files now you can see two files boot.py and uh, main.py uh, to read the files you can use the view file uh, and then click on the boot.py to see the contents and also you can click on main.py to see the con- and modify the contents by default the micro python will look for the boot.py and when it finds boot.py then it executes main.py so you should not uh, uh, change the uploaded uh, file name from main.py you can see the debugging tools are not implemented on micro python thank you for watching